G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here now. In today's video, I'm just going to show you how you can combine security and also audience targeting when you're building out your navigation uh, in your intranet. Now this comes about from uh, a call I had uh, literally um, last night, uh, just around um, how to hide certain things or show certain things to the right people through the global navigation of your intranet. Now, as we know, when we have a hub site, we've got a hub site navigation across the top um, of all of the sites that are associated to that hub. But that doesn't, um, that doesn't include the security trimming. So when we associate a site to a hub, um, it doesn't add it to the global navigation. We have to add that manually. Now that also doesn't honor the, the security of that particular site or the destination site. So that means that everybody sees that item in the navigation and when they click on that item, then they'll get that access denied uh, or request access uh, message on the page. So we don't really want to have that user experience. We want to just show uh, the navigation items to the right people uh, at the right time so that we don't have that confusion as well. So I just want to step through how we can combine that security trimming uh, or the security concept with uh, audience targeting through your hub site navigation. So let's have a look at um, a hub site in action and then we'll have a look at and we'll associate a, uh, a team site to that hub site and then we'll add that to the navigation as well. So let's jump in now, I'm on the Microsoft 365 homepage. I'll jump into the SharePoint home at the moment and what we'll do is we'll jump into Microsoft Loop HQ. So here we go, this is the root site collection here. Now what we might need to do first is let's just check in the SharePoint Admin Center that this is actually a hub site. So we can see that when we jump into uh, SharePoint, so in the SharePoint Admin Center, uh, we'll go to the active sites and then we'll just have a look at what hub sites we do have. So we can see here in this column, uh, um, and we've got one, two, three different hub sites here. So let's just scroll down and have a look. What we might do is that that root site collection isn't a hub site. So let's use Contoso Works in our example. So we'll open up that hub site here and we can see that we've got our global navigation or our hub site navigation across the top of the, of the site here. Now let's create a site and we'll just create a team site. So let's call this um, uh, AU Sales, okay? So we'll call this, and this is for the Australian sales arm. So we'll go next, we'll skip adding members, uh, and we will just create this, uh, create this site. So now we've got our site. Now you'll notice we get the global navigation across the top, but this particular site hasn't been added to the global navigation. So we actually have to go and do that ourselves, all right? So to do that, we jump back onto the main hub site and now we've got this edit button here. So now we can have our, or add navigation items to our uh, global navigation. So what we're gonna do first is we're just going to go back and we're going to copy the URL of this site. We'll jump back onto the hub site home. So we'll jump over and we'll go back to the hub site. So let's just jump back into there. There we go. And we'll hit the edit button. And then what we are going to do is we're going to just add a, a link. So you can see here that we can add different types here, but we're just going to add a direct link to that AU sales. And what we'll do is we'll copy this and we'll use that as the display name. So we'll click OK and now we'll save that. Now that's well and good. Everybody sees this this globe, this navigation item now. So even if I don't have access or are not a member of that site or that team or that group, then I actually uh, still see this. And when I click on this link, I'll get that uh, access denied request access. So how do we show this item only to those people? So we can combine that now with audience targeting. So what we would need to do is we toggle this switch to on and that will then allow us in the edit option here to then select an audience uh, that contains, or a, or a security group that contains all the people that are uh, that need access or are members of that particular site. 
So if we start typing in a security group, so my security groups here uh, start with SG. So you can see here that SG dash sales and marketing. So if I choose that security group uh, as the audience to target, then only the members or the people that are part of that group will see that link. So you can see that we can select up to 10 audiences and I've got nine left because I've got one in here. So when I click OK and I'll hit save, then now, and you'll notice that Megan, who's logged in here, doesn't isn't a member of that sales and marketing uh, security group. So that navigation item actually disappears for her. She doesn't actually see it at all. Now you might not have a security group uh, already set up for the members of this or the people that need access to this site. So what we can also do, because we created this as a team site, so it's a group connected team site, you can see that it's got one member. All right, so what we could do is add members to this particular uh, group here. And what we'll see is in the site permissions, you'll see obviously that we've got uh, owners, members, and visitors, okay? Now inside and what's added to, um, to these SharePoint groups are these security groups. So I've got AU sales members. So in actual fact, what we could do is we could add AU sales members as an option here to target at as well. So we don't need another group or create another security group just for the purposes of audience targeting. We can use the members group here uh, that is associated to that, that team site that we just created. So I can click okay. So we've combined the, the security group SG dash sales and marketing and also AU sales and marketing. And then we'll click okay and we'll save that. And then now what you'll see is that that link appears for Megan because Megan is actually an owner of this particular group, all right? So that is combining a security group and also uh, an M365 group. And now uh, a combination of that is, um, it has been targeted at, uh, at those two groups. So if you're a member of either of those, then that link will appear. And if you're not, then it just won't appear either. The security is around that site. So in search and things like that, the site or content from within that site won't appear in any of that. So any roll-ups that you've got or any document searches or anything like that, if you don't have access to that site or the content residing in that site, then it just won't appear in any of the searching or any search um, scenarios that you have got in play. So I hope that brings you some value today. So being able to uh, combine both and utilize both security and also audience targeting when you're building out your information architecture and your global navigation across your intranet is a really powerful uh, capability and allows you to create that personalized uh, experience that uh, your users will uh, well and truly uh, appreciate and they're not bombarded with everything. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.